um, Nigeria, this five billion dollars, <laughs> five billion naira for the 36 days plus the FCT, five billion times 37 gives you 185 billion. My girl, Ayo, call this a drop in the bucket. Ayo, I'm gonna have to, well, you know, I put Rufai on the spot a lot. I'm gonna have to come for you this one. You know, my girl, and we go, we go way back. So, according to the National Social Safety Net Coordinating Office, there was an interview they gave, I think it was with The Guardian, earlier this year, or was it late last year? You got 12.8 million poor health and vulnerable households with 50 million individuals. If you divide that number, 50 million by 12.8, you get 3.9 households, um, 3.9 people per household. So I approximated it to four. So here's what to do, let's do some math. If you divide 185 billion by 12.8 million households, you get 14,435 Naira per household. If you want to divide further, that 14,435 by four people, each person gets 3,500 Naira. And then Ayo says this morning that it's not enough. It's a drop in the bucket. Oh, I, I have to ask you a question. Where do you want the money to come from? If you, how, how long do you want this program to be extended? I, let's say we extend it for 10 months. If you extend this program for 10 months, I do it on a monthly basis from the federal government to each of the states, you get 1.8 trillion naira. That 1.8 trillion naira almost swallows up the 1.9 trillion that the FAC allocation, which is the highest it's ever gotten in history, was distributed to the state. Now remember, it's only 900 billion. They kept 1 trillion to themselves. Now, Ayo has criticized the, um, the movement in the dollar, so has Rufai, so I'm sure Mr. Kerr too, so has a lot of people. But the, deva the same devaluation in the dollar that everybody was shouting about, that took the dollar from 430 or 460 to 750 is what gave the federal government even more money to share um, to the states, in fact. So look, for the populists out there, for the neo-welfareists, for the socialists, you have to pick a struggle. You can't criticize the devaluation of the dollar and then say that the amount of money that the federal government is distributing is not enough. Where do you want the money to come from? Oh, by the way, the federal government has reintroduced subsidies. And so the subsidies now is going to put more pressure on the fiscal structure of the government. Pick a struggle. Earlier, Rufai was talking about agriculture and the, the, the rice. Rufai said increase price uh, hectare per yield, increase uh, the seedlings, increase this, increase that. Where is the money going to come from? Pick a struggle. The federal government fiscally is encumbered. And so the reforms to remove subsidies, to devalue, are supposed to have benefits for the long-term long outlook of the country. So you have to pick a struggle. If, look, the five billion that is being distributed now, 14,000, let's go back to that graphic, 14,000 Naira uh, per household, how, far, how long is that going to last? How long? I've talked about population in this country. I've talked about the births, births per capita in Nigeria. High is one of the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. We have a rising, popul increasing population, putting more pressure on the welfare, of, on, on the spatial structures of the state. The state doesn't have enough money. 96% revenue, or 96% um, debt service to revenue ratio. Rising 20 point, 23 trillion Naira um, ways and means. 47 trillion Naira total public debt. Where is the money going to come from for these palliatives and everything else everybody's asking for? I throw that question to the audience. And then um, the CBN has introduced a new price verification system. It's going live August the 31st. This is for Form M, for imports. So what the CBN says is that if you are importing items into the country, essentially you will use this Form M to verify the price. So it is supposed to make sure it is a check on corruption. If I'm importing a car into Nigeria, I can't go and claim that the car cost me $100,000 when in fact there's a price verification system that will benchmark that price against what it's supposed to cost. So uh, that's that. Um, I have to show you guys this skit from Nedu, the comedian about FX spectators. You're going to love this. Take a look. Because I'm desperate for you. You know, because I did travel this night. What do I want to use dollar do? What do I want to use dollar do? No, while I ain't not come, you don't come, I beg. I beg, just give me the money like that. That's $10,000. $10,000. That's $7.9 million you're going to transport to me. What do they worry you now? No, we don't already agree 730 before now. I eat it be 7.9. Okay, before I reach you, don't let it don't go up. You know my word. What do they worry you now? You can't talk me down one Don't let it don't go up before I reach you. All of them, they like take advantage of people like this now. You know like that. You know like that. Bring them, just bring them like that. Ah! What do they worry you now? Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. No, because of say person, they desperate. I go, I go, follow you, they talk of this kind of thing. Hello? Eh, that lady? I, eh, eh, no, I can't, eh. That is someone who? Ah. Now go to go, thank you. Okay, it's it's 8 30. It's 8.30 now. So are you are you are you mad? You know like that. Are you are you is your family stupid? You know like that. They, 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 they use your they use your placenta. They, 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 they mix much of you, they crease. No worry, no worry. I know your tax. No worry, no worry. Hello, Sadiq. 
How far? How far? Where you there? They come, they come my house like this. I need dollar, ten thousand. Yes, give me your best rate. You say you don't go try like go kill your papa. What come kill your mama. You don't go better for your papa. See this bastard, do. What do you do? I see the vest say you they give me eight thirty. This bastard they tell me say na eight eighty. In the crease. Eight eighty. That's okay. wrong. Why you man be wicked? Ah. Now nah, man they do man. Now nah, man I, I, they I, do man. I be doing stupid. What kind? What kind? What kind? What be be this one? I, 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 I don't understand. So ah. I don't come. I don't come. Even the vest say. Hello? Um, uh, just give me the dollar. Hey, Musa. 900? Oh, that is 900 naira now. That is 9 million. I'm sorry. You did you, you, you. Oh, okay, just change it now before you increase. Change it now. That is 9 million. Oh, can you change it now? No worry. Bring her, bring her, bring her. Which kind, which kind of wall be this one now? I'm sorry, which kind of my phone call If you pick that call, if you, if, you, if you pick, I go, I go drink, they will pick your dead body I here. In my Nigeria will happen to you. Okay, let me, I go drink your blood. You let me take Give me that money. You know like that. Give me, give okay, me, never, let me get my call, madam. Maybe me will change money for you. I swear. Hello? What is the 200? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you know me, Nigeria. Oh, you know me, Nigeria. Real quick, um, Echo, the Transcorp, finally, uh, that was hilarious. Transcorp has acquired a 60% stake in uh, Echo, uh, the Abuja Disco, uh, AEDC. Um, Christopher Eze Fulukwe is the new MDC of AEDC. He was the former MDC of Transcorp Power Limited. The board of AEDC has uh, approved this. The regions that are going to benefit, the FCT, uh, Niger, Kogi, Nasara State, Transcorp, of course, Group Market Cap, 540 billion, Plover, 540 billion, and of course, this is supposed to improve electricity supply. So Tony Lumelu making more moves in the power sector. That's our updates globally and across Africa. Okay, so a quick reaction will be, I don't like getting hoodwinked by the dangers of the single story neoclassical uh, neo economists will always make. Take, for instance, this clip we watch. It's a danger of a single story. Because the other part of the story they won't tell you is the fact that if there's actually supply and enough supply that goes to the bank, the same person too can go to the bank and get the forex at a good rate, like people used to get BTA, all right? But the reason why speculators are going at it is because this same CBN decided to go on a float that we told them they didn't have the capacity to do, and they went ahead to do it, and that's why they're going to scamper for money now to be do able to defend. they have the capacity for a fixed rate? Moving on. No, I see as, he can answer that. Then no, we go again. No, if you want to, if you have to. Do they no, have wait, 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 Rotus, if you want to have a conversation with me, go ahead. We will have a pure debate. Yes, they also have the capacity that for a That is a lie. Rate. You do not understand it's how this simple works. That. The reason, why do you think a devaluation Let, let me speak. Rotus, you can, you, can, you can see, you can see Rotus, you can see Rotus at it again. You cannot maintain you a fixed exchange the, the truth is always Don't be, misinform people. The truth is always you bitter. You cannot maintain it. The truth is always bitter, and that's why they bicker. No, you get that point. Refine, the yeah, truth yeah, is always yeah, bitter. Yeah, that's why yeah, they okay. pick Moving on, let me, let me go on the other points. As regards the other points, it's also the danger of a single story. You keep saying things like, oh, the currency, yes, they saved, you know, when they devalued and all of that. Ask me, what's the quality of one trillion naira now compared to the world quality of one trillion naira then? What's the point? The value is baseless. The naira has taken a plunge and devaluated, and you are saying the naira will still have the same effect on the economy? So these are the arguments the neoclassical economists make that is not always circumspect. That's just the problem I have with them. Yeah. All right, we have to go because time is time is fast is fast. Right. We gotta go. All right, Kerry, please. Okay. Uh, well, you can go ahead. For yeah. updates on sports stories across the globe, Aaron Akirjola joins us now, and uh, we'll be right back after this.